Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, we are going to get right into this is a God moment. Now, just going to uh, read here for 10 minutes. Uh, certainly, I do uh, appreciate you for tuning in. And I do thank you for your time during this 10 minutes of a God moment. So without further ado, we're on page 36. We're uh, that much into the book. We're right. We're on this side. Okay. So let's go ahead. How do you create a God moment? Hmm. One. Rest in the Lord. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. He will bring forth your vindication as the light, and your night as the noonday. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Psalms 37, 4 through seven. It shall come to pass in the day the Lord gives you rest from your sorrow and from your fear and the hard bondage in which you were made to serve. Isaiah 14, 3. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. Even so, O Lord, is my earth within Isaiah 14, 7. For the Lord said to me, I will take my rest and I will look from my dwelling place. Like clear heat and sunshine, like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. Isaiah 18, 4. To whom he said, this is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Isaiah 28, 12. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91, 1. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Psalms 121, verse 5. 2. Pursue his presence. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. Psalms 84.10 Honor and majesty are found in his presence. Strength and joy are found in his sanctuary. 1 Chronicles 16.27 and he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Exodus 33, 14. You will show me the path of life and your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalms 6, 11. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Psalms 31, 20. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Psalms 51, 11. Be silent. In the presence of the Lord God. For the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has invited 
his guests. Zephaniah 1, 7 Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3, 19 Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? Psalms 139, verse 7. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Psalms 102. The Lord your God is in the midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Zephaniah 3.17 He has given food and provision to those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. He will remember his covenant forever and imprint it on his mind. Psalms 111 verse 5 but if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. Deuteronomy 4.29 I will give the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine, and your oil. Deuteronomy 11, 4. The Lord shall open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain of your land and in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Deuteronomy 28, 12. But seek. Aim at and strive after. First of all, his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. And then all these things taken together will be given you besides. Matthew 6, 33. We know that God is omnipotent, or omnipresent, excuse me, which means God is everywhere. As David said in Psalms 139, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Psalms 139, 7 through 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 4, 8. My whole being follows hard after you and clings closely to you. Your right hand upholds me. Psalms 63, 8. Moses said, Show me your glory. Exodus 13, 18. If you ever get so hungry for God that you are in pursuit of him, he will show up and do things for you that he won't do for anyone else. Observe and consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouses. Let me start that all over and repeat it. We won't get this correct. Observe and consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet 
God feeds them. Of how much more worth are you than the birds? Hmm. Luke 12, 24. Now, that does complete our 10-minute read today of a God moment. So, I want for you to be well, take care, be blessed, be safe, and it be at thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Poem Praise 2. So, until next time. Later, y'all.